good to see you again. Always oh, a fucking pleasure. You know, I'm getting tired of messing with these uh, these crows. They just, I mean, shit keeps knocking them over. The wind keeps knocking them over. I spend more time trying to put them up than I do taking them down. I just kind of wedge them in there every now and then. Ah, I got mail call. Okay, this is another signature series Microtech. I went with Unique. And this one is Unique, and I've learned a lot. Because for one, I thought the signature series was like, had Marfion's signature on it, for one. And it had different uh, emblems, different labels, and that's what I thought. Well, come to find out. Come to find out the Microtech uh, definition of signature series is just like, you know, uh, higher end materials, you know, possibly, you know, higher end, you know, coating on the blade. You know, and yeah, I guess they could add, you know, this and that and the doodahs and the nice labels and the nice wording, but, you know, most of those, you know, the washers are different or a little higher quality. You know, that's what I get. Now, this one here came to me. It's a signature series box, and it's kind of like darkened out. Uh, Zombie Tech TE Standard. It says standard. But now... On the box it says signature series. So, you know what, it's advertising. And, and I'm like, you know, well, which is which? Is Wednesday, Thursday, and standard is signature? And who knows? The Phantom knows. And he ain't fucking telling. Now I call this one. You know, a lot of people we name our, our swords and our knives and our cars and yeah, usually in, in, you know, the airline, the, the fighter pilots, they have a, a feminine name for their planes. And this one is no exception. I call this one, <laughs> and why I do will remain something between me and them. But I call this one, Chelsea, the green, mean nemesis that's what I call this one or Chelsea for short but it just seems fitting personality wise unique because well this one doesn't have any any uh, 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 born on date on it like the rest of them it is the blade is sterile there's no you know, labels on it. It's just, it just is. You know, it's nothing to be, you know, put in a pigeonhole and labeled. It just, it just is. It's Chelsea, the mean green nemesis. So, other attributes that it has, that it carries, it, you know, it's like a mean green nemesis. Well, it, 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 it's green. So anyway, so let's break it open and let's take a look and let me get my notes out of my pocket. It's a very cool day and I like it. Not a cool day as in, cool dude, <laughs> the day is so gnarly. It's like a cool day. And that makes Ken a nicer person. Sort of, even though I shouldn't be, but I am. It's just the way things are and I secretly thought you'd want to know that. And usually I'm good with those secret things. Usually. Let's move the camera. I'm not fucking running my mouth. Would you believe the other day I was using some pliers? You talk about injuring yourself. I was using some, some uh, channel locks. And I had to grip down. <laughs> I had to grip down really, really, you know, turn on this thing. And I'm like, I'm sitting down in a chair. And I'm like, I'm just like squeezing it. And I'm like trying to pry this and trying to pry that. <laughs> Well, it gave way. It wasn't the, the teeth or the jaws or the pliers, the channel locks that got me. It was the two handles because when it gave way, they came, they came together. And they came together on the tip of my scrotum. And it didn't catch a testicle, but boy, it caught my attention.
All right, without any further ado, here she is in all her glory. The Microtech. This one's kind of blacked out, you know. Signature series, 100% American made. Now I'm gonna go over a few things. This is the one that I put a little video out on and I said, huh, that's odd. Let's have a quiz. Let's have a spelling bee. <laughs> Tell me why, and speaking of spelling bees, Bastinelli is a hard fucking last name to get spelled right. Tell me why this blade and other blades have Microtech, the board on date, you know, so on and so forth, like this UTX-70. It's got the labeling right there. Tell me why this one doesn't, and what kind is it? It's a Microtech, made in the USA. And all the other Microtechs, even the Signature Series, they have where it comes from, who made it, blah, 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 you know. Well, the reason being is, now that I'm done running my mouth, but listen to me, you'll learn something, okay? Here, I'll, I'll open a part way for you people that are like, deal with anxiety the reason being so in 2012 they brought this out and in 2012 they had the the uh, uh, what call it the biohazard symbol and on the biohazard symbol they also had inside of it they'd had the date the born on date and you know microtech and so on and so forth well then you know a couple years later that went away and if you want one of these i suggest get them because from what i gather they put them out every now and then and then they stop putting them out and you know, they wait a couple years and they put them out again and they've all gone through some changes and i've been through so many changes in my life it's a wonder i ain't lost my fucking mind that's a song you know so anywho so they've been through some changes they've had different low and uh, some of them, what they did was they stopped using the uh, biohazard symbol and they put, you know, Microtech on the clip or they put, you know, this born on date on the blade and, you know, they changed, so on and so forth. Now, I'll, I'll touch on something right now. The steel, the steel on these is, it changes. I believe this one is M390. Also, the label, the, the covering on the on the blade i got me another sticker and the wind's blowing everything hugger mugger you know that's a word hugger mugger look it up so the red that they have on here they painted it on it's all painted they're all different so from what i gather if you see one you like then you know get that one because they all have different colored patterns and you, when you feel it you can feel the different colored patterns and that's a good thing do you have any idea you don't? Do you have any idea how many times I have to pause and, and cut this out because I just like forget what the fuck I was saying or I burped. So anyway, so let's move on and we'll just ad lib our, our the hell out of this. Come on, open up. This is why I call it Chelsea the Mean Green Nemesis. <laughs> Now I'll tell you what, I'm going to put that back in there before it it blows away. The only markings on this is Microtech and Zombie Tech. Back. So, and this green, this green that is, these are all, this, this blood splatter crap, it's all painted on. It's like, you know, by hand, painted on, and you can actually feel it. It, feel, it, it, it feels like an afterthought, like, you know, the nice green and you stab some zombie in the neck and it's blurted downward and splurted on the knife and you can actually feel, you can feel how green, not green, you can't feel how green something is, but you can feel how the texture, it, it's a, it, it actually feels tactilely uh, like an afterthought you know like something happened after the fact okay I'm gonna I've, I got a, a little lanyard string 
I'm going to try to fish that in there. I may have to unscrew this cap so I can get down in there. We'll see. And I got a green bead. And it has, it's a skull. And I'm going to, you know, that comes from Amazon. I says, I think that'll look very, very nice on that. But if you're an Ultratech fan, this is an Ultratech from Zombie Tech. And if you're an Ultratech fan, I say go for this because, I mean, you're getting a very unique one. So unique. Now, you can't name yours, Chelsea, the Mean Green Nemesis. You can't do that. No. You have to get your own name. Call her Martha. I used to have a sword I called Bertha. Bertha Butt. She's one of the Butt sisters. I don't know why I called her Bertha Butt. It just is. And I have some knives that I, I, have, I have names for. Can't think of them right now, but if I had them in my hand, I could. Now, close. This is five inches. It's not. A, it's not a little wussy knife, to In no way. Overall, check this out. Oh boy, I got me a Tonto. <laughs> yeah, damn Skippy. See, that's what I was waiting on. I'm waiting on me a Tonto. I didn't want another drop point. I like that Tonto blade. I really do. I like it. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Nice little flare out. This thing feels good in the hand. Real good in the hand. Good for killing zombies. You know, and if you have to kill a zombie and you're fending them off with one arm, you know, you got the other hand. You could have the upper hand when you have the other hand free to kill the zombie. Okay. Get yourself a little rubber ball, because if you're killing a zombie, ugh, and your knife's too stiff, well, you're kind of like better off with a hammer. And then it's hammer time. Zombie tech. I just think that is so fucking cool. I never really was a fan of green. It's kind of grown on me a little bit, like moss on a rolling stone. Close five inches overall 8.35 the handle they call it zombie aluminum it is 3.5 ounces i mean it's just like it's it's just it's fun it's a fun knife it's comical you know it's just fun the blade is sterile there's nothing there nothing no, oh my, I mean, what kind of coating is that? I don't know, DLC. Diamond-like coating, yeah. I have no idea. But that is just so cool. And check out it, check it out against the other ones. I mean, there's not much I can say about it. I've, 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 I've talked to death about, you know, Ultratex. I like Ultratex. Ultratechs are cool. My first one was a Microtech uh, Truidon. Combat Truidon. Uh, yeah, it was a Microtech Combat Truidon. And I was like, cool. And if I'd known about the Ultratech, I think I would have got the Ultratech first. This here was my first Ultratech. Yeah. I got it with serrations on here. This is a dagger point. It's like, you know, and it's double-edged on one. Partially double-edged. And it's supposed to be, like, red. And that's what you got to watch out for because, you know, things that say red, they're not always red, like red rum. Except red rum is red. Yes. But they're identical. And you see this claw. There's no claw on here. But this one was born on 29 of 2020. This one is an orange. And this is the Truidon double E, double edged. And you can see the difference between a Truidon and an Ultratech. Now, if I had my combat Truidon out here, you you know, really see like, wow, you know. Because I would think that a Truidon would be a lot bigger. At least that's what they said about Dalton. This one here is the UTX 95 or 85, okay? And that's as big as a Truidon. Yeah. 
but pretty colors. I mean, the color is just, I mean, Ultratech has it going on when it comes to the colors, man. Yeah. Spiffy. And blade styles. Nah, here's a little itty bitty UTX 75 with just 75% of an Ultratech. What I'm saying is, if you collect these and, and uh, you got to jump on that, they may they may go away for a year or two, and then you're like, "Well, what the fuck? I was born Cox. Where are they?" They're just cool. They're fun knives, and you know they're not really overly expensive. This one's only like three fifty, three sixty. Uh, and here's what I'm talking about about signature series. Okay, now this one says signature series. But it doesn't say signature series. It says that it is a signature series. Well, here, here's the the uh, Warhound. Okay, yeah, Warhound. Yeah, here's the Warhound Microtech signature series, and it has uh, Anthony Marfione, you know, scribble right there, signature, a different logo, and I, I even the logo on here, you can feel that it's raised. It's not something that's just half-assed you know, put in there, yeah. But there's a Signature Series uh, Ultratech Warhound. So you're like, huh. So it just makes you wonder, what's a Signature Series, what not is a Signature Series? I don't think it really matters, not in the end of the day. A Signature Series can be anything, and it can have labels, it cannot. Here's a Signature Series Truidon. Okay. Got the um, scribbling, different logos. You know, here's a Truidon. You can see the, the, you know, the same size. One's just a signature series. So I've learned something by this adventure. I learned that, wow, look at the pretty colors. And two, I mean, it's just, they're just, they're fun. They're fun. And there's nothing wrong with having fun. They even gave me a sticker that's red and, red and, and yeah, red and, red and. So, on that note, I have to go now. I am terribly busy. I've been like in a wonk here lately. I'm always in a wonk. I go wonk this way, wonk that way. Yeah, wonk down this. You know, the other day I, I fell down a rabbit hole and boy, the wonks that were in there. There's some really, 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 really weird wonks. Be careful of the wonks. I have to go now. I'm terribly fucking busy. I have nothing else to do with my time. So, what are you going to do? I could take... I could take and do this, oops, yeah, I could take and do this, yeah, and have fun, make me a house, make me a house of, uh, yeah, I'll make me an ultra tech house, I gotta go, I'm terribly busy, we'll see you, thanks for joining me, it's always a fucking pleasure, Stay tuned next time when I put the lanyard on this, and I do have a, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a layaway item. It's supposed to come in uh, March, January, January, February, March. Are we in, yeah, we're, no, we're in March, April. I think April 1st is supposed to come. I may pay it off early, I don't know. I only owe like 100 bucks left on it. But it's a, uh, uh, the Microtech, out the side, um, can't think of it. Break you. It's a microtech break re break bit break blip 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 break real break real. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. That should be an interesting little thing because I'm not really fond of the blades that are that are arced like that, but. I've seen a lot of pictures and things that I'm not really fond of, and turns out that, oh, a sharpness test. We forgot to do a sharpness test. Here. 
because there's always something I'm forgetting. Wouldn't that be some shit? That would be some shit. I'm moving this closer to the edge of the table. That'd be some shit if this jump dumped over and all these edges and everything went on my fucking lap. That would be some shit. That would be like, that would be like, wow. That'd be like, I better go get me a shitload of duct tape and a shitload of bandage. Paper towel, paper towel from hell. Yes, because I'll be like running towards the house, dripping, spurting blood up my fucking quads. And, <laughs> and nobody's around to hear me scream. <laughs> Oh. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Yes. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Yay me. All right, got to go before I figure out something else to fucking test it on. We'll see you. Thanks for joining me. It's always fucking pleasure.